Dr. Joes. He's a periodontist, a diamond cut above the rest, yet his bedside manner is warm, welcoming, understanding, and inspirational. And of course there's Dr. Torres. She has the philosophy that time is measured to the extent by which it is used and not to the extent to which it passes, making her exact, deliberate, and beautiful as a perfect diamond. And then there's Dr. Chan, hands of a surgeon, mind of an engineer, and the heart of a hero. And heroes are very special people. Precision, coordination, talent, and teamwork. not only describes the United States Marine Drill Corps, it is the heart of the American standard of excellence. And America, still, with its challenges today, remains a land of the free and the home of the brave. It was and is a beacon of freedom. It shines everlasting in liberty's torch for all to see around the world. Give me your tired, your poor. But tired does not speak to the genius and innovators that also accompany them. Decades ago in India, a child was born to a humble family with modest means. Life was simple, and so were the pleasures. Most grew into the expected paths of becoming one of India's workers. But not for one boy, who went to the beat of a different drum. A born leader, he strives for the next level for what the future held. And he knew America is where he could find it. In Puerto Rico, there was a little girl who had the exact aspirations and character traits as the little boy from India. Raised by a single mom, she too dreamt of a platform in America where she could spread her wings and contribute to her family and this great land that made it possible. And then there was one more little Korean boy. Although born in California, he was raised to a family which practiced the old ways of the old country set in a land of opportunity here in the United States of America. He was taught, if you could dream it, you could do it. Little did they know, they would band together to change people's lives and give them a second chance to smile at life. Each week, you'll see stories of your friends and neighbors that will pull at your heartstrings of a life they live in hiding their smile and how these miracle surgeons do the impossible with the help of new age tools and passionate people. Simple stories like Rodney Zeiss who owns Pino's Palace. He has a fractured tooth, but complicated in that it's next to an implant. Let's watch. So we're just applying some topical jelly, you know, so before we even go in with 
the actual injection, you know, we just want to topically numb that area. And now once, you know, you might feel a little pinch here, it won't be too bad. That's all it is, and we'll do a little shake, shake, shake. Doing okay? So today there's a fractured tooth that we're going to take out as <clears throat> next to an existing implant. So you know, we obviously don't we have to be careful not to do any damage to that one. Turn away from me a little bit. Alright, you know, this one's going to pitch on the towel, okay? Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. That's a brave man. <laughs> yeah. My name is Elizabeth. Um, I'm an assistant for Dr. Jose. Um, I help him with surgery, setting up rooms, preparing patients. Um, I've been here for about a month now, so I'm a little bit newer to it, but it's a great place to be. I'll go back over here and kind of reinforce with some more. Oh, that one, huh? You okay, brother? Mm -hmm. That's it. So I'll give that about five, ten minutes to kick in, all right? Close on that? And I'll be back, right? You can open half CC and not resolve. Sounds good. So yeah, we're going to be extracting, doing some bone grafting. You know, doing the bone grafting preserves that bone volume. Uh, often what happens is when we extract it to that we just did nothing, we just let Mother Nature heal, uh, bone will collapse. You know, you can lose as much as 50% of your bone volume in a horizontal dimension in three to six months as that socket is healing. So to prevent that or to minimize that, you know, we have bone material that we'll kind of pack the socket with. We'll cover that with a little barrier. That barrier protects that bone grafting material. A couple of stitches go in, easy peasy. And then, you know, that preserves that bone volume so that eventually we can go back in and put a dental implant in, right? Because for an implant to go in, dental implant is a titanium screw. It replaces the root part of the tooth. It's the best thing that we have to replace a missing teeth, but it needs to go into bone, right? And the best way is now you know often some patients will come in and they'll have teeth taken out and they didn't get grafting done so now it's tougher to grow that bone back whereas where he is in the position it's easy to preserve that bone volume just by doing simple grafting what is bone material uh there's many types of bone material uh you know there, it all comes from an fda approved tissue bank so you know we you know hospitals and us we all get it from wow. generally the same same uh, source you know but there's um animal source, there's a human cadaver source, there's even synthetic. And I'm not so much of a big fan of synthetic because it doesn't turn over. You know, the idea behind any grafting material we use is that it turns over, all it does is encourage your own body's bone cells to come in and grow bone. You know, the idea is that the material that I put in, I don't want it to stay there because I want it to be vital tissue, you know, living tissue, right? So what I put in holds that space and encourages body cells to come in and grow the bone. So what I put in goes away over time, about three to four months. Uh, and so it turns into vital, the patient's own bone, and that's when we're ready to put an implant in. My name is Dr. Kayla Torres. When I was in college, I was very, very inclined to medicine. Like I wanted to do healthcare. Um, it was between medicines and, and, and dentistry. But then I developed, this is a very interesting story. When I was in college, I had a car accident, which I have like a fracture in my mandible. And um, I have a lot of intervention, oral surgery, perio, um, endo, I have root canals, I have all the, yeah, all the specialists related to my mouth. And I decided this is what I want to do. Like all the work and all the journey that I have to go through to get me healthy and, and be able to talk again, I remember I was like completely fixed, like my mom was completely closed for one month and I couldn't talk anything, I couldn't eat anything, that it just like liquid. So it was, it was hard, but it was a blessing because it pushed me to say like, this is what I really wanna do. Like it's not only about aesthetic, it's about helping people. It's about being above and beyond to get them the confidence that they need to be they, who they are. So uh, we, do a, uh, we do paint and sip. We do the wine and paint parties. 
and uh, we've been on TV a lot of times during the holidays. People, some of the local channels want to show, you know, what's available to do for people during the holidays. And when people leave our place, they take their painting home with them. The name of the business is Pinot's Palette. Uh, 443-420-8378. Yeah, we have uh, Pinot's Palette dot com slash Ellicott City. Anybody planning a party, a Christmas party, corporate groups, um, that kind of thing, uh, painters of all ages. Yeah, so far so good. And this young lady's been terrific. So. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Sometimes they're so low. So throughout the surgery, we're bending over and we can rest our arm on something because we can't touch anything with our gloves. Maybe. Other than the instruments and the patient's mouth. But um, I grew up in PA, so I was local around there. But um, I started dental assisting when I was about 19, so three years now, I want to say. It is impeccable. I had great experiences at my other offices. Um, they taught me to do what I do now. Um, but this office is amazing. They're always up to date. He's always improving the office, improving everything that he can for patients and their comfort. The best way is to make them feel comfortable, but also the newest technology to make sure everything goes smoothly. So we started by just making our incisions around the sulcus of the tooth. As you can see here, I'm going to check this out. Once I open the wide from the section over here, this tooth just split for him. See that? See how it's split in half there? Can you see that on the camera? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so that's why it's got to come out. specialized instruments that would help us, you know, intramatically get the tooth in. So, that's one more question, right? You doing okay? Mm -hmm. There's one part of it. And he doesn't feel any of this, you know, because he's nice and numb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's the rest of the tooth. So you can kind of see how, you know, when he bit into something, that entire piece just sheared off and fractured. Now we want to kind of clean up that socket, remove any soft tissue lining within the socket. Correct. It is close to the sinus cavity, but it's not into the sinus cavity. If it was into the sinus, I would have to repair that as well. So there, mm -hmm. we were able to do this without affecting any of the bone against that existing implant right here. Now we rinse out the socket with sterile water. Mm -hmm. 
This material, this membrane is sterile and it is a it's made out of dense PTFE, which is polytetrafluoroethylene. And with that, you know, it's, it's um, basically doesn't let any bacteria penetrate into our socket. Right? So, scissors. so I can trim it to, you know, fit the, the, the socket. And what'll happen is, you know, I try it in, make sure I like the, the fit of it. So now that that's ready, I'll put that right there. Put the bone. Use sterile gloss to just kind of clean up the na area and and uh, clean up the blood. And now I'm bringing the. So this is the actual grafted material that we mix with sterile water and, and uh, you know, the staff know how to deliver it to the site that way, you know, my job is easy and I just have to condense it into the site. There's many kinds of suture material that we use uh, depending on the scenario, the situation. This is a, um, again, made out of PTFE, uh, the same material as that membrane, that barrier. Uh, but you know, there's different lengths and there's different sizes. And, uh, what I like about this is that this is not dissolving. Um, I do use dissolving sutures, but dissolving sutures tend to lose their strength uh, within a certain period of time. Uh, and with this, you know, we leave all this intact for four weeks. Uh, so I don't want that suture to dissolve away. So I like to have control over that. So we use this suture for this material, for this procedure. That's what I call a, a simple, you know, a figure eight suture. Um, because we'll just bring the wood edges together and uh, check my There we go. And it'll keep that membrane in place. You can see nice and tight. Take another bite. One more time. And that translates into our patient care. You know, how we have everything set up here. It is, it's really about the patient, um, how we operate. Uh, you know, we have uh, the most technologically advanced practice, I think, probably on the East Coast, I would say. Uh, but really it's about the patient. Uh, we have, um, when a patient comes in, you know, the room, every, every room is centered for that patient to feel comfortable because patients, well, let's be honest, right? Patients don't like going to the dentist. Uh, and, uh, and so we thought, okay, well, how can we create an environment that, you know, they can kind of settle into? So patients come in, they have the options of listening to whatever music they'd like to, watch whatever they want on TV, they can even control the lighting in the room from red to green to whatever they want. They can put the shades up and down. It's all controlled via the iPad. Uh, we even have aromatherapy for patients. Uh, it's, it's about patient coming in and having a sense of control of their environment. 
And then from there, we, of course, we have all the technology pieces that come into delivering the best product, the best treatment that we can for the patients. Um, because what we do is, you know, patients come in, they're investing their time, they're, you know, they're, they're trusting us to give them the best, right? So um, it's really an amazing feeling to take a patient that is, you know, let's say not functioning well, not able to eat what they want and, and you know, embarrassed by their smile and, you know, a lot of people have put others in front of them. You know, we, we see patients all the time that say, you know, I've been taking care of my kids or, or my, you know, my older mother or whatever and now it's finally my turn and, and I want to invest into, you know, something better and for us to be able to deliver that uh, and, and do it well and, and give them a nice smile but also functional where they can eat what they want. It's really life-changing. You know, we, myself, the entire, my partners, the entire team, and we get a lot of joy out of it because when we, when we, you know, when we do these treatments, we look to see the patient's reaction and when we see their, their smile and their happiness, I mean, you, you can't put, you can't put money on that. You know, that feeling that you get. So let's clean all this up. Well, this is what we do all day long. Irrigation. Now we'll give them a little rain. There, and then one more time, one more rain. You can see, you know, it gets to, wow. looks like we never touched it. <laughs> And once I see that, let me get um, oil band. I do want to be able to tuck it in a little bit. I'm going to put a second layer of suture in. Take a Excellent. Good. Let's do a little mirror irrigation again. And did you feel any of that? Mm -mm. Good. Huh. You see, the whole thing takes about 10 minutes, you know, for this type of case. 10 15 minutes. You can see now. Wow. And you can see the membrane's nicely intact, and, oh, and the great. procedure went perfect. You know, all the bone is intact, um, and we drafted, and everything went really well. So now we'll see him in about. You know, he's on antibiotics and pain meds, of course, but I expect him to have minimal pain. Uh, and now he's on uh, antibiotic treatment as well. Uh, and we'll see him back in uh, four weeks to do uh, a check and remove the stitches in the barrier and then that continues to heal That's and then great. eventually put an implant in. Absolutely amazing. Is it? We'll Definitely. see you in a couple of weeks, all right? Yep. All right. Good job, buddy. Thank you. That's that. Excellent. Excellent. In and out. Thank you. Really, thank you so much. Absolutely. Okay, I'll be right back with my These guys post stop instructions. Um, everything that I went over with you is on there. At the bottom on the other side, this is his cell phone number. Yeah.
If you have any concerns, if you're bleeding a little bit too much or more than you thought you would, if you're having immense pain, give us a call. Even if it's after hours, he will answer and be able to talk to you. Um, this is that ice pack. I recommend icing as soon as you leave here. Um, and then keeping that on. I know you're going to work today, but if you can, ice fall your way from the people. <laughs> um, and then this is a soft bristle toothbrush. So I know I said that you can't brush for 24 hours. You're going to want to use this instead of your manual or electric toothbrush for that two-week period of healing. If you're uncomfortable with any aspect of your mouth, whether it's one tooth, a full mouth, coming in here and getting the experience that you work with the doctor, with the staff, your comfort is our priority. So I mean, for sure. I mean, all our ops are um, situated with iPads, and so it has Netflix. It has, um, I believe, it's uh, you know all the music kind of stations that you kind of need. Whatever you want to listen to, each station, each room has its own equipment when it comes to that entertainment system. Each room has uh, Samsung frame TV, so if you just want to watch just flowers or just nature or something, that's on there. If you want to watch uh, Netflix or any kind of anything else, any shows, it's on there. So it's a tune per patient. Um, each chair, I mean, comfortable, perfect chairs. Patients a lot of times like to fall asleep in them. I like to fall asleep in them. <laughs> it's nice. Uh, but I mean, we've got a aromatherapy. We've got shades in each room. You can change the colors in each room. Uh, whatever you want. I mean, uh, we have kids sometimes coming here. They just play with the buttons, and you know, they change to whatever color they kind of want. It's to get everyone in a comfortable position. No one likes going to the dentist. No one likes being here. Even if I had to go see a dentist, I would feel uncomfortable. And I'm a dentist, and so trying to put patients in a situation where they feel they have control. I guess I'll say hello to my sister. <laughs> I'll make her watch. <laughs> oh yeah. Hi Tommy. <laughs> Tommy's famous around here. What are you doing? <laughs> I just always talk about him. Um I yeah, just just hi family. Hi it's new good. new husband. Not fiance no more. Okay. Oh yes! Shout out to all my family, mom and dad. Um second mom and dad, Melissa and Brian, um, my fiance Josh. Shout out to all my family and all of his family as well, and hope you guys enjoy me on TV. <laughs> um, my mom, I know, will be watching this. She is an ABC fanatic. Um, Sundays is her go-to. So, hi, Mom. <laughs> hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hey, sisters. Hey, boyfriend and hey, dog and daughter. Hi, Mom. <laughs> my sister, Ebony. My niece, Jaya. Um, my dad, my mom, my best friend T. Hi. <laughs> hi, mom. Hi, dad. Hey, sisters. Hey, boyfriend, and hey, dog and daughter. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs>